Nvidia has released a new reasoning model which is Nemotron 14 billion. This new model Ace Reason Nemotron is what we are going to install in this video and we are going to test it out on various reasoning tasks. This model demonstrates how reinforcement learning can dramatically boost smaller AI models to compete with much much larger models aka DeepSeek R1. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Let's get the installation underway while I talk a bit more about this model. So I am going to install it on my Ubuntu system as usual and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable prices, you can find the link to the website of Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. First up, you see that I am using text generation web UI for GUI and at the back end, I am primarily using VLLM for inference engine. If you don't know what VLLM is or what exactly this text generation web UI is, just go to my channel, search with VLLM and I have done a very easy to understand full tutorial which will show you how to install both of them in a matter of minutes on your local system so i'm assuming you already have it installed if you're following along of course and once you are in the directory of text generation web ui just run this script with the name of the model from hugging face card which you can just get from here and then just run it it is going to download the model on your local system as you can see here while this model gets downloaded, let's talk a bit more about the architecture and features of this model. So this NVIDIA's Ace Reason is a 14 billion parameter reasoning model that builds upon the Nemotron architecture and incorporates advanced reinforcement learning techniques to enhance mathematical and coding capabilities. This model represents NVIDIA's approach to create efficient reasoning systems that deliver competitive performance without requiring the massive computational resources typically associated with frontier reasoning models from such as OpenAI or DeepSeek. Now, they have shared a lot of benchmarking information which you can check out, check out on their model card and I will drop the link in video's description. Before I talk a bit more about its architecture, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix enables you to create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations on A-B tests for your marketing captions. That enables marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will find their link in video's description too. Okay, so let's talk a bit more about its architecture. So this Ace Reason Nemotron 14 billion model from NVIDIA uses a sequential reinforcement learning training approach that separates mathematical and coding skill development into distinct phases. The model first undergoes math-only RL training using curated mathematical problems with verifiable solutions. That is what reinforcement learning is, where you verify the result of the model, you reward it or you punish it, and the model then improves on the basis of feedback which it receives. And after this RL, what happens in this model's architecture is that by code-only RL training on programmatic challenge with comprehensive test cases, it improves a lot. And this method methodology uses curriculum learning with progressively increasing response length and maintains training stability through on policy parameter updates. The architecture uses verification based reward mechanism that enables the model to not only utilize existing reason reasoning capabilities from its foundation training but also develop enhanced problem solving abilities that extend beyond the base model's original limitation. And that makes it particularly effective for complex reasoning tasks across both math and programming domains. But let's wait for this to get installed and we will test it out. And the model is downloaded. Let's serve it with VLLM by using the text generation web UI engine. It is going to detect my CUDA. Okay, so it needs this library. So primarily library is already installed. I just need to put it in my path. So let me quickly 
do it and rerun this and this happens when you are using conda environment so i have copied it and let's run it again and this time it runs fine loading it onto my gpu and now we can access it on our localhost at port 7860 okay so the model is all ready let me just set up some of the hyperparameters so you can click on this model it should already be loaded as you can see it is ready here if not you can simply click on load so we need to set some hyperparameters so i'm just going to make it a bit smaller and these hyperparameters um, are primarily you know given in their model card which simply means that temperature they recommend it to around 0.6 so i'm just uh, selecting here maybe i'll just type 0.6 here and then another parameter which we need to set is um, top p or you can just check here you see it shows here so i'm just going to set it 0.95 and both of these control output and i already have mentioned it in a lot of videos as what exactly they mean so you can check it now i think the rest of it is good let's click on save here and then click on save you don't have to give any system prompt for this model so we're all good now let's try to run our first test okay first i'm going to show you some of the math reasoning this model has and then we will test out coding so first up i'm asking it that find the number of positive integers in this such that this and this are both divisible now this line towards the end is what they recommend because these models have been fine-tuned models so it's always good to follow um, the manual so that you know we get the optimal response so let's click on generate and see what model does here it is thinking hopefully it is going to show me the thought process it is it's always really fascinating i always say that you see it is just going through chain of thought now understanding what exactly the problem is and then step by step it is uh, dividing and conquering the problem it is thinking about alternate ways it is self-reflecting here then it is taking another approach then it says better to compute it directly again alternate so it is doing pretty good job but we will see what exactly it produces i'm just going to let this reasoning run for a few more seconds because I think this is where the real juice of this model is it is trying to think like a human it is checking its own responses but it's not rushing it that is a key you see it is just checking every option available out there remember this is a 14 billion parameter model whereas uh, models like for example deep seek and that sort of stuff are over 600 billion parameters some are even close to 900 or you know even more anyway let's wait for it to come back the thinking is sublime really exceptional and after a bit of a pause i'm still showing you it is still doing the stuff and you can see it is coming up with a lot of equations and it is still going around okay i will just wait a bit more to see how it goes okay it's been 15 minutes now it is still running and i am just scrolling down to show you that it is still going strong it is counting them it, it's a hard question no doubt about that and it is making sure it gets it right but it is doing a lot of counting a lot of mathematics you see and it is coming up with these equations of its own So I'm just I was planning to do more reasoning questions with it in math but I'm not going to do it now I will just stick with this I will give it a few more minutes to see how it goes but I can already tell you it's not um, hallucinating it's not really printing out gibberish or just going in the loop it is actually doing very very deep thinking so I think definitely when they say that 14 billion model doing um, the thinking at par with the frontier models it's not they're not far off 
and it's been 20 minutes now it is still thinking you know as a human if i would think for 20 minutes or uh, you know about some problem i think i would really definitely get it resolved and the funny thing is that it hasn't even exhausted exhausted its context window yet so anyway i will let it run to see what it does and then i will keep waiting and now i will show you if i get fed up of looking at screen or it finishes up okay so it's been almost i would say 40 minutes it is still going strong but i am really sick and tired of looking at it so i'm just going to stop it it by the way reached to the correct answer long time back above but it is still checking whether the answer is correct or not so as i said many times before in these reasoning videos unless you have a very very deep difficult complex problem they make sense otherwise for day-to-day uh, -day tasks they don't but anyway i think let me run this coding problem and we will just have a look at this thinking for a bit or maybe i'll just sorry stop it and then let's create a new chat otherwise it is going to just struggle okay let's start a new chat so you see um the crux of the matter here is that now we have this sort of deep reasoning available in just 14 billion size parameter models which is really good so for instance in this coding problem where i'm i'm asking it to write me a function that finds the longest increasing subsequence so i already have compelled the model to think in a sort of step-by-step -step chain of thought manner and that is where you can see that it is now checking various things out again the similar fashion um, you see it is now just creating that log n then a quick draft of the problem looks pretty good but the quality of the response is quite good and i have to give it to the model that not for a second it wavered from the quality anyway i will let it run for a few minutes and then we will check and then we will call it a day and there you go you can see that our coding problem has been turned into a sort of a math problem and but it is creating the pseudo code pretty nicely i would say going in the right direction so before i close it let me also show you the vram consumption in real time it is consuming over 30 gig of vram for a 14 billion model for a reasoning this uh, deep reasoning i think it is pretty decent i would say anyway that's it a uh, pretty good model from nvidia but i think there should be a way to control this sort of reasoning anyway let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching